Dear students, good morning. How are you? I am your physics teacher, Shafiq Malik, from Pakistan International School, Doha, Qatar. As you know, this is our 10th week of blended learning. Last week we finished, chapter number 7, Electricity and Energy. Today we will start our new chapter 10, Pressure and Moments. Therefore, all of you please open your science book, page number 136. Learning Objectives At the end of this lesson, students will be able to Number 1. Explain and use the relationship between force, area, and pressure. Number 2. Describe some effects and uses of gases under pressure. Number 3. Use the particle model to explain the behavior of gases under pressure. Dear students, today the first topic of this chapter is pressure. Pressure is the result of a force acting on a certain area. If you hold a pencil, as shown in this diagram, between the palms of your hands, then press your hands together with a gentle force, you will feel the difference in pressure. The sharp end gives a high pressure and the blunt end gives a low pressure. Pressure is large when the surface area is small. If you press your hands together harder, the pressure increases further. Pressure is larger when the force is larger. Pressure in action. Dear students, this figure shows that the stiletto heels on these shoes can damage a floor. Because force acts on a very small area, the pressure is very high. In the next figure, studs on the sole of a football or hockey boot stop you from skidding. They reduce the surface area so that the force is more concentrated. This makes the sole of the boot cut more deeply into the ground, as shown in these diagrams. Pressure in Action Dear students, in this figure, this man's weight is spread over thousands of nails. The overall surface area is large, so the pressure is low. The nails therefore do not penetrate his skin. If there is only one nail under his body, it will definitely penetrate his body, because area of nail is small and pressure is greater. Did you know? The pressure under the blade of an ice skate is so great that it melts the ice underneath. The skater slides along on a film of water under the blades. The water refreezes after the skater has passed, as shown in this diagram. Dear students, now we are going to discuss how pressure is measured. Pressure can be calculated using this formula, pressure is equal to, force, over, area. The unit of pressure is Pascal, and its symbol is, P, A. Dear students, Pascal, is the name of a scientist. Now the definition of Pascal is, when one Newton, a force acts on an area of one meter square, then, we say there is a pressure of one Pascal. That is, one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter square. Dear students, let's solve one example, related with measuring pressure. In the first block, a force of 100 Newton, acts upon the base area of 2 meters square, so pressure is equal to 100 Newton over 2 meters square, which is equal to, 50 Newton per meter square, or, pressure is equal to 50 Pascal. While in the second block, a force of 100 Newton, acts upon the base area of 1 meter square, so pressure is equal to 100 Newton over 1 meter square, which is equal to, 100 Newton per meter square, or, pressure is equal to 100 Pascal. Dear students, our next topic is, pressure in gases. This diagram, shows the particle model of a gas. The particle model of a gas shows, Number 1, the molecules are not arranged in any particular way. Number 2, the molecules are far apart. Number 3, the molecules are not strongly held together. Number 4, 
The molecules move very fast in all directions. Air can be squashed easily because air molecules have lots of space between them. Atmospheric pressure The air around us has weight and it presses against everything it touches. This pressure is called atmospheric pressure, or air pressure. Atmospheric pressure is the force exerted on the surface of the earth caused by the gravitational attraction of the earth on the air above it. At sea level atmospheric pressure is about 100 kilopascals. This is equivalent to the weight of 10 cars pressing on every square meter. Surprisingly, we are not crushed by this huge pressure. This is because the pressure in our lungs and blood system exactly matches the pressure of the air around us. Dear students, this diagram show that, when drinking through a straw, you suck the air from the straw to reduce the air pressure inside it. Atmospheric pressure then pushes the liquid up the straw and into your mouth. In this diagram, the downward arrows show atmospheric pressure. Dear students, please note down today's homework. Learn the topics taught today. Write down the answers of all parts of test yourself questions on your notebook. Solve example which is given on page number 138. Solve the given worksheet. Write down the answers of all short and long questions on your notebook. Thank you and goodbye.